Hey guys, how's it going? So recently, uh, I've had a few people reach out to me and they've noticed in some of the videos how I've talked about how I'm not making any money off of YouTube or anything like that just yet. Um, and in fact, I haven't made a dime. Then they asked me, well, why don't you start a Patreon account? Uh, I'm gonna go over a couple of the reasons why I haven't started one yet and if I plan on starting one in the future. Check it out. All right, so for those of you who do not know what Patreon is, uh, basically it's a crowdfunding site. And so the idea is that I can start a Patreon account and then people who would like to uh, help support the channel, um, help support the cause, you know, they can donate either on a monthly or per upload basis, which, you know, if I'm uploading five times a week, which I have been, and I actually plan on doing more in 2018. I have a video, uh, should be coming out here pretty soon, about just that. Um, but they can then support the channel by donating, again, either, either a monthly flat fee or per upload. Um, it's an awesome idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crowdfunding is great. It's, uh, it's a great way to support your creators, um, whether it be YouTube, podcast, artists, uh, musicians, uh, bloggers, bloggers, uh, you know, it's a great way to support them, especially with all the ad trouble that's going on in YouTube right now. Uh, a lot of the, I don't want to say that they're hurting, but a lot of the bigger YouTubers, they've noticed it, you know, they, de they definitely have noticed it. Like now somebody my size, I can't even turn ads on yet. Like I'm so small. I have uh, not enough views, so like I already can't do that. So that's not affecting me one way or the other. Um, now, some of the smaller YouTubers that I do follow, they're not going to be hit quite as hard because, you know, they're only making a few dollars a month, which I'm not saying that's bad, you know, but it's, it's not like that's going to make or break their financial situation. That's not supporting them fully, you know. Uh, now, obviously, if you're a single person who still lives at home with mom and dad or grandma or whoever, like, you know, that's that's a little bit more noticeable because you can, you know, maybe afford to just, just stay home and work on your channel, and that's great, you know, good for you. Uh, but for somebody like me, I've got kids, you know, I've got a family. Uh, I can't I can't afford to, to not work. Um just to piddle around on YouTube, and I don't want to call it piddle around, because I do enjoy it, and I do take it seriously, but I can't afford to not work, I have a family to support, we have bills to pay, you know, Christmas especially is coming up, like, that's always expensive, <sighs> so why not start a Patreon, uh, it seems like a great idea, the issue for me, one, is I have such a small following that I don't know that it would be worthwhile. Like, that's a whole other platform that then I have to maintain. Um, and I just don't know that it would be worthwhile. You know, maybe, would I get a couple donors? Probably. You know, I mean, I probably would. I would probably get, you know, a couple people to donate a dollar a month. Maybe one to donate five, you know. And that's great. That's, you know, I, I would be happy with that. I'm not, again, I'm not in this for money at this point. I'm just doing it for fun. If it became a thing where I could do it full time, I would love that. I would absolutely love that. But that's, that's down the road a good ways. I have a sneaky suspicion that's not going to happen in 2018. Definitely not in 2017. Um, but again, yeah, it'd be cool if I could do that. But at this point, that's not realistic. So there again, is $10 a month really worth it? I mean, you can set up goals so you could say, okay, my first goal is to $100 every month. That's a pretty modest goal, I think. Um, but there again, how many months would it take you to buy a camera at that goal? How many months would it take you... You know, even like the lighting I've been looking at, maybe that's 60 bucks. Well, that's the vast majority of that month's, um, you know, support from viewers, which again, that's great. That's not coming out of my pocket at that point. But, you know, I feel like I should have a bigger following before I start working on something like that. You know, make it worth your while to, to take time that I already don't have. <clears throat> 
excuse me, and put it into another platform like Patreon or Kickstarter. It doesn't have to be Patreon, but you get my point. Any of those crowdfunding um, sites, any of those crowdfunding platforms, like that's just going to take more time. And that's going to take time away from videos and editing and that sort of thing because then you've got to have content just for Patreon because why else, you know, why donate if they can get it for free? Well, if I can give you content that YouTube doesn't get, uh, well, then that makes it a little different. Now you've got something in return. Um, another reason, <clears throat> and I guess I kind of touched on it, is at this point, I just don't see where it would be... I don't want to say it wouldn't be enough, because even a dollar a month is a dollar a month, and I would be so grateful for that. But at the same token, like a dollar a month, you know, fantastic. After a year, you've made 12 bucks. Uh, and that's before Patreon got their cut, which I think is only 5%. So it's pretty modest. I mean, they take a very small percentage. Um, $12 a year, though, I mean, uh, you know, is that is that worth it? Well, maybe to somebody. To me, I would just rather continue doing free content. Um, and then, you know, when we grow, then we can cross that bridge. Um... The more and more I think about it, and this is somewhat related, but somewhat unrelated, so the more and more I think about it, um, the more I'm inclined to keep my ads off of the videos. Or not my ads, but the ads off the videos. So at this point, I'm not even able to monetize. But let's say I was, I'm more inclined to keep those ads off of it just for the simple reason of, I know to me it's annoying, when people put ads on their videos so I don't know and to my understanding if somebody has YouTube Red like I have YouTube Red and I might actually do a video about it and whether I, I like it or not and whether I would continue keeping it like this I just hit my first month where it wasn't free so I may do a video on that um, here in the future but to my knowledge, even if you don't have your ads, if, if you don't have ads on your videos, uh, you still would get paid from YouTube Red views. So, I mean, you would still be making something, and then you don't have to worry about the apocalypse or anything like that because they're not seeing ads. That's one of the benefits of YouTube Red is you don't get ads. Um, <clears throat> that's the, the sole reason I ended up starting it, just because I hate ads. Uh, there's other perks that come with it, but that's the big one for me. Um, but if I keep ads off my channel, then, again, you're not making any money other than the YouTube Red views, which YouTube Red's still very much in its infancy, so there's not a lot of people that have YouTube Red yet. I'm sure it'll grow, uh, but as it sits now, it's, it's, there's just not a lot of people. But if you don't put ads on your channel, then, again, you're taking away that source of potential income, and it, if you're wanting to do it full-time, obviously it's going to have to generate income. That's just the way it goes. You can't pay bills with videos. You can't pay bills with, you know, hopes and dreams. You have to have some sort of income. And so my thought maybe would be I would consider starting a Patreon when we get to a point where I could monetize. So at the time of filming this, I'm right at 3,000 views. Uh, maybe a pinch over. I haven't actually checked today. Um, <clears throat> you know, but when it came to a point... Uh, where we could monetize, where I could click it on, maybe that's when I would consider starting a Patreon account. But as of now, no, I don't have one. I have no intentions on getting one, not because I'm against the platform or anything like that, just because I just don't know that it would be worth my time. I don't think it would generate enough income to actually matter in the scheme of things again a dollar a month is great i would be grateful for that because that's a dollar that came from somebody's pocket you know they thought enough of me to give me that dollar i would be very grateful for that however you know it would take a few people to do that before it would be measurable really you know what i mean so while i wouldn't be ungrateful it just wouldn't really affect much like it's It'd be hard for me to say, well, your dollar a month is going to help me do this. Well, in reality, that's not going to do a whole lot. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> that's not going to pay any of my... That might pay my Netflix bill, you know. But $12 a year, 
or a dollar a month, however you want to look at it, that's not enough to cover my uh, editing software. You know, not even not even close. Not that it's stupid expensive, but just that's a dollar a month, like, you know. So, I don't know. That's my views on it. That's why I don't have it. Uh, as far as do I plan on getting it, sure. Or maybe not Patreon, not that there's anything wrong with Patreon. We'll just see what the options are when that time comes, you know. That's, uh, that's a while from now, I think, where I hit my 10,000 views and I can officially turn on monetization. So, who knows what that what will be on the market at that time what will be available you know it all is going to come down to you know is it user friendly is it um what percentage do they take like i said uh, patreon is only five percent so that's not bad really um you know you get 95 cents on the dollar that's something um you know what's available at the time i have no idea what kickstarter charges i don't know i haven't looked into any of them the only reason I know about Patreon is I saw a couple videos talking about it. After people brought it up, I thought, well, let's do a little homework on Patreon. And, and that's what I came out with. Maybe that is old information and that's no longer the case, but that's what I understand it as. So that's my thoughts, guys. That's where I'm at. That's what I think. Um, that's why I don't have a Patreon. Yes, I fully intend someday to get some sort of crowdfunding uh, thing involved just because I... I kind of would like to keep the ads turned off. I just feel like it adds something, you know. Again, I'm not in this to I'm not in this to get rich by any means. YouTube is definitely not a get rich quick scheme. Um, with that said, yes, I would love to do it full time. With that, would need to come income, of course. Um, but that's down the road, you know. Just because I can turn monetization on, you know, here maybe in a few months does not mean that I will be making enough to retire from regular conventional work and just YouTube full time. Not by a long shot. I would have, um, I would have some hungry kids if that was the thoughts I had. <clears throat> I'm trying to be realistic here, and you know, so who knows? Uh, something could happen. Something could trigger, and I could blow up. I don't. I don't anticipate that being the case, though. So, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree. Maybe you're a small YouTuber with Patreon. Um, let me know. You know, does it does it pay off for you? Does it does it make sense for you and your uh, strategy for channel growth, or you know, is it just kind of something you did just to try to generate a few extra bucks every month? Like, nothing wrong with that. You know, again, you need you need to get your income where you can. Uh, but just comment below and let me know. Uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. This one kind of drug on a little bit, but thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.